Hi everybody. Today I'm going to install this Harbor Freight solar kit. I'm going to install these string lights. I've got three of them. I've got this deep cycled marine battery. I bought these switches online and I made my own plates to cover the outlet boxes. And I've got three of these USB outlets. They're 12 volt as well. And then I've also got this rope light for the porch. And that's going to give me some nice outside light. So let's get at it. I figured I'd show you a quick walk through of building the outlet covers. They're pretty simple. Just make a square big enough to cover it. I measured an outlet cover on my wall. Then you lay out a hole so you can fit your switch through it. Cut it out. Sand the corners off, screw it into there, and put some holes for mounting it onto the outlet box. Nothing to it. Unless you crack it. Then you might have to do a little repair or build a different one. I chose to repair it. I'll mix up this one minute box. I'll just come back later. You can still see the crack in the front, but it's glued together pretty solid. Right. Three and five sixteenths. Probably right about there. I bought this black landscaping wire. It's 14 stranded two conductor. It didn't have red or black on it, so I marked one side with white paint pen so that I kept the positive and negative separate. Feed, the home run, is coming out of the bottom of the box, so I know that that's where my power is coming from. And I'm gonna hook two more to that wire so that I can do two switches off of the one power. What I always like to do is give a little tug on each wire to make sure it's going to stay in the wire nut that I got. Positives coming off the positive from the battery to power the switches. Put my spade connectors on the two positives to the light. Now I just need to strip the three negatives. Those are in good. Stuff that in the box. Stick these on here. There we go. This is the light string. A bunch of LEDs. It's got this sticky tape on the back. It's really hard to beat this for ease of installation. It's nothing but peel and stick. Stick it to your ceiling, stick it to your wall, wherever you want to put it. It was a little difficult to make corners with it. It didn't want to bend real tight, but it's super efficient, simple to install, and it puts off some really nice light. I just want to give a good explanation on these lights. They're a 12 volt light. They come with this little kit. The plug-in is a transformer. It steps the voltage down to 12 volts for these lights. You don't need that if you're going to run them off of a battery. All you need is the wires before that. So you just cut the wire wherever you want. The white strips on this side, that's the positive. It comes with a switch. If you want to use your own switch, just cut the wire before you get to the switch or you can use their switch and cut the wire after the switch. Then just splice it to your wiring. I like to use butt splices and stick the lights to the ceiling. Helps to get some of the dust off first. I noticed it didn't want to stick to the rough sawn as well. Then if the strip's too long, just cut it off with a knife, as weird as that seems. You 
the USB outlets are pretty simple. Positive, positive, negative, and negative. Just remember, in the stores, you're only going to find the AC versions. I did run some house wire for some regular 110 outlets. I'm going to put an inverter in, and I think they put four outlets in. For anyone who hasn't done house wiring before, where you have one outlet but multiple wires, you'll twist your ground wires together, you'll put a barrel crimp on them, crimp the grounds together so that the ground circuit continues, then you clip off one wire and land that on your outlet. If there's more than one outlet, you're still going to twist them together and crimp them, but you're going to land one wire per each outlet or light switch. Normally, I wouldn't land each wire. I would pigtail the blacks together and the whites together so that you have one wire coming off of each black and white to the outlet. It's a better connection. It's just a better way to go. I like to tape over the terminals. That way, if you have to pull the outlet out of the wall, it's a little bit safer. So you can see on this cable that only the top wire has writing on it. It stays that way down the entire cable. So I'm going to use the side with the writing as my positive. If the cord they sent is not long enough for the installation you need and you have to splice this, you got to make sure that you know which wire is positive and which wire is negative. Get a multimeter, put it on DC, turn it on, stick the prongs in here and touch the sides. See the negative bar on the left side? That means they're switched, that I've got it backwards. So if I switch it around, no more negative reading. That means that this side on the collector cable is positive and the right side is negative. So the female is positive, male is negative. Now I need to mount the charge controller. You just want to make sure that it's close enough for the wires that they sent to reach your battery. I cut it off and splice it to my incoming solar feed. right out of my way of the bat. This is your, your feed from the charge controller to the battery. Comes just like this in the kit too. There's no mistaking any, any wires. It really is a simple kit. So we get to the solar panels. There's four in the kit. They have a built-in stand. It just folds out. The stand's not extremely rigid by itself, but it comes with metal brackets, bolts, and wing nuts. And you bolt the four panels together. And once they're bolted together, it definitely strengthens them up, makes them a little more rigid. Each panel has its own wire. Those wires all plug into a collector cable, and that cable goes to your house or whatever you're using it for. And then that cable dumps them into the charge controller and charges the battery. I had to add cable to mine, so I'm using butt splices and heat shrinking the splices so that they'll be waterproof. I use these ring terminals. You can buy them at an auto parts store. You just have to find the right size for your battery. My battery has studs on it. Also has your top post like you'd use for a car.
unplug it, 12 volts, plug it in, and she's charging. Right now the charge controller says it's at 12.3 volts. I'm gonna run to town, grab an inverter, and that should take me about an hour. So when I get back, I'll see what it says then. You can see it's pretty cloudy out and it's still charging pretty good. So I just got back from town. Charge controller was at 12.3 volts when I left. Now it says 12.5. I was gone about an hour and 20 minutes. I picked up a 750 watt Jupiter inverter from Harbor Freight. Okay, comes with its own cables. Before I mount this to the wall, I need to have an idea of how long these cables are so that I can make sure they're gonna reach. So the wire coming out of the wall is the end of my 110 circuit, the feed wire. I figured the easiest way to connect that to the inverter would be just to wire an extension cord end onto it and plug it in. Seems to work well. These extension cord ends are just like an outlet. Gold screw is the black wire, silver screw is the white wire, and the green screw is the ground. Pretty simple. I put some tape on it because I took the outer jacket a little bit far up and I didn't want the individual wires exposed. So it's not necessary but it looks a little better. So I'm going to test out this inverter. It's got an on off switch right here. This wire, I just put a plug on it. This runs all throughout. It's this outlet and three others on that other wall. I actually run a small saw. I don't think you could run a skill saw. Probably couldn't run a skill saw, but it'll, it'll run this. told in the last video I didn't show the loft enough so here's some good shots of the loft all lit up and finished by the way if you haven't checked out my off-grid cabin start to finish video you should check it out it's pretty cool as for my thoughts on the Harbor Freight solar panel kit it was easy to install very simple it's doing a good job it's charging the battery I've got lights I've got power points couldn't be happier and thanks for watching